can't get enough sports, neither can we. This is TV for the Serious Sports Junkie, the 38 Sports Spot. Now, here's Jack Harry. All right, welcome back, everyone. We are visiting with Royals former third baseman Kevin Seitzer, and I'm sure you've heard of Mack and Seitz, a wonderful facility in the south part of Kansas City. And, you know, we were out there the other day. Our producer, Justin Unell, went out there, and they, they took a photographer, and I couldn't believe the equipment you've got out there. And I want to show some of this, Kevin, and just have you go through it, the way things have changed and what kids have. It looks like a big TV screen, but there's a ball that comes out of it. Right. This is, uh, this is called the Pro Batter. It's a... Uh... It's a machine that, that's come out. It's an incredible piece of equipment. They call it a live video pitching simulator. Mm. And you see a pitcher winding up there, right-handed. We got You can throw left-handed, program it to go out of the stretch. It'll throw from 40 to 100 mile an hour, and it'll throw wow. any pitch that you could possibly ask for. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. And, you know, we, we got six to eight-year-olds that come in. Uh, that we can program it down to a machine pitch age and then all the way up to a major league level and it'll throw change, curve, slurve, cutter, slider, splits, the whole <laughs> deal. Unbelievable. It, but you put kids at six years of age on this? Oh or? yeah, yep, they get right in there and get after it. But you, you can establish timing and it's just exactly like you're facing the guy out on the mound. I mean, you see the wind up, the release, the ball comes right out of that hole. And you, you can learn to, the timing of when you start your load, when you have to start your swing, picking up the release point, the whole thing. It's Some of the amazing. major leagues are using this, too. I saw yeah. on spring training, right? Yep. They're, they're yep. putting them in there. Several major league facilities have them. There are several major league players that have them in their homes as well. But, you know, for, for us as an organization, we have, you know, 14 competitive teams that travel nationally, and we do pretty well. But when we get up against the... The, the best of the best in World Series, we, we can face pitching that we haven't seen before that, you know, can shut us down. And actually, my youngest son is getting ready to go to Oklahoma next year to play baseball, and, and I want to get him prepared for, for D1 pitching. So yeah. we got this, and he's facing 94, 96-mile-an-hour heaters and Isn't sliders and cutters and facing the nasty lefties and the split fingers. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's really fun. What, what age should they be if, if you want to get a young kid started? I, I heard so many conflicting stories on that. You know, it, it, it basically, the more you can get your, your little guys out there or little girls out there and, and get them playing, hitting wiffle balls or whatever, you know, don't, you don't have to bring them to us till they're seven, eight years old. But we've, fa you know, we've had kids that have come in five, six years old to get started just because parents don't have the time with busy work mm -hmm. schedules and whatnot. And we'll come in and, and, and get them going. But most of the time, you know, I'll see some really young ones come in and I'll have a talk with the parents, say, look, you know, we're in business to make money, but yet at the same Little time, you can really get as much benefit going out in the backyard having some father-son time. Always good to see you. Thanks good so much you, for Jack. coming Thanks. in, Kevin. Kevin Kites, uh, Kevin Seitzer, and we'll be back to wrap it up on the Sports Spot right after this.